Greetings to all. I would like, like to, I would now like to show how to actually create a database on which will be built a web application. When you are given a workspace from uh, Apex, you are also given one schema, like one space on which you can build your database. If you like another database, then you can make a request for a new schema. How do you do such a request? You must go to your administration tools, manage services, and below manage services, you will see make a service request. Now, you can now see the request schema. That means you are requesting a space on which you can build your database. From here, after clicking on request schema, you will go to next and the process will carry on. And hopefully, you will be granted a new schema on which you can build your database after one or two days after uh, Apex has approved your request. So how do you know that your request has been approved? You will receive an email from Apex, but you can also come to your administration tools and inside the administration tools, go to your dashboard. Now you can see in the dashboard that I have two available schemas. One is the first schema, initial schema that was granted to me when I made a request for a workspace. And this is the second schema that was granted to me when I made a request for a schema. And this new schema is the one that we are going to use to build our database for our application. I can now safely go back to the main page of Apex. And uh, in the next short video, I'll show you how to start creating objects for the database. Thank you.